All right, BFit Nation, looks like we are back and ready to go for today's Monday's, for Monday's BFit Live program workout. BFit Ambassador Roy Montes here, joining me, Captain Bush. How are we doing today, sir? Hey, doing well. Doing All well. right. Ready to get after it. Now, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, like we were speaking a little bit earlier, uh, you know, throughout the weekend, last week, we've been moving, we've yeah. been really pushing our bodies. Uh, you know, we may be feeling a little slower, <laughs> it may be a little tougher to join or, or kind of show up to yeah. your workout, but showing up is the toughest part because we'll take you through the rest. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, just gotta get there. Just get absolutely, there. so again, welcome in. This is our 98th episode, our 98th episode of our BeFit Live program workout. If you're new to the program, welcome, join us. Uh, if you have any dumbbells, even better. But uh, go ahead and grab those dumbbells, find your space, find your water, find a towel. Uh, speaking of towel, we need to get Captain Bush a towel yeah, sometime yeah, I'll tell you. soon. Uh, today we have a hybrid style of workout for your team, a hybrid style of workouts, uh, really focusing on building up uh, some lean muscle mass. Team, building, on, uh, building some lean muscle mass, really working on elevating our heart rate, but focusing on Four different, uh, mus four different movements to target specific, a full body workout with uh, those targeted muscle groups. Um, so drop us a note in the comments. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out. Uh, leave us a comment. We love to see the engagement here so, um, so we can shout you out. Shout out to uh, anyone that you may uh, feel the need to on your end, but also share this workout. Share this workout with your family members, with your spouses. Co-workers, yeah. uh, anything like that, right? Accountability uh, helps out a lot. So um, definitely share this workout with your family, uh, spouses, co-workers, things of that nature before we get started. But let's go through the let's go through the rundown for today, team. All right, we have four different movements to tackle this resistance-based workout. Uh, if you have two pair of dumbbells, let's go ahead and grab those uh, from medium to a little bit of a heavier weight. Um, Movements, four movements for today. We have a dumbbell front rack with a squat. So dumbbells are not needed, however, uh, to scale up the movement, to really uh, load up some weight onto our bodies. That's gonna be that front rack squat with dumbbells. Movement number two, keeping with dumbbells all the way down. Uh, we have a renegade row. And don't worry, we're gonna demo in each of these movements before we get started. Movement number three is gonna be a combination movement uh, to really torch our arms here so for today we have a dumbbell curl to a press to a tricep extension so we're thinking biceps with shoulder presses and then triceps to finish us off at the top of the movement all right and movement number four since we do have a high plank position with movement number two we're gonna go and attack our obliques with our side plank and a pulse all right the timing for today is gonna be 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. All four of those movements within four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Sound good, team? Sound great? Come Absolutely. Let's All go. right. Let's get into it here. Uh, let's start off with demonstrations. That way we know exactly what we'll get into. And Sorry. that way we know uh, any coaching cues you can take away, anything to execute the form properly. Uh, let's go ahead and listen for these as we go into movement number one, which will be the dumbbell uh, front rack squat. So we're going to rack those front dumbbells. All right. Try to keep them off of our shoulders here. That'll help with some bicep activation and isolation right here at that top position. Our wrists are going to stack underneath our shoulders. From here, we're going to keep our chest up and we're going to push back into that lower squat position from here find that low squat position with shoulder we shoulder width apart on our feet and drive back up through our heels from there you're back in standing position loading up controlling yourself on the way down and then driving up on the way up so we're thinking lower body engagement here quads glutes activated and some upper body shoulder and biceps with movement number one all right going into movement number two <clears throat> we're looking at a renegade roll here so full body work really going to challenge us and focus on our core contraction here so really keep our core nice and tight try to keep our hips square to the floor and for our dumbbells if we have dumbbells if we're utilizing dumbbells <clears throat> try to keep them right underneath our chest level that's going to be the most comfort because we're going to drive and pull up into a renegade row that dumbbell is going to come up towards our waist area rather our hip there you go and then you're right back down into your high plank position we're going to alternate left arm and right arm Good, nice strong pull, engaging our lats at the very top of the movement, trying to keep our hips square to the floor and be mindful of our foot placement as well. So try to keep your feet at least shoulder width apart for the most stability. We're good there, Captain Bush. Right. And if we need to modify, let's go ahead and modify real quick. We're just gonna come down to our knees and then keeping with that nice flat back and keep those hips up 
a little bit more, hips back, hips back, hips back, right there. Now we're gonna pull uh, into that renegade row just like we would with a row position utilizing our dumbbells and tacking those, uh, that mid to upper back and those lats, all right? After movement number two, we're gonna go into movement number three. So we have that arm blaster, if you will. So we are gonna hold into a hammer curl position. So bicep hammer curl, so into that front rack position, if you will, just like movement number one. So from movement from that first position out of that bicep curl, you're gonna go into that overhead press, utilizing our shoulders. And from there, you're gonna hinge only at our elbows and we're gonna come back and isolate our triceps. So tricep extension, now come back into your front rack position and down and relax into our standing position. So bicep curl, overhead press, and then into your tricep extension, back up to your extension, controlling that negative control on the way down to really isolate our arms all the way around, all right? That's gonna be movement number three. And movement number four, we are looking at our obliques here. So we're gonna focus our obliques. You have two options here. As we come down into a side plank position, be mindful here as we just hold this side plank position right here, be mindful of our hip placement. We want that straight line from our neck all the way down to our ankles and we want that aerial view in a straight line as well. So if you feel like you're in a V formation, push those hips forward. That can really help straighten you out uh, from that side plank position. So movement number one, we're gonna hold that side plank position. If we are here fitness wise, let's go and add a hip dip. So we're gonna drop our hips down and then raise them right back up. And you're gonna feel that activation on the lower part of your oblique, which is gonna be to the left and the right of your abdominals, right? So that's gonna be the idea here is to engage our obliques into movement number four. How do we feel after that one up? Oh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't oh, push that towel here. All right, team, as we get started, we're gonna, uh, just like we do every week, we are going to go into dynamic stretches before we get started, but pulling up to my uh, computer here, team, again, if you have any questions, any comments, if you're looking for any modifications, if you'd just like to shout out Captain Bush and myself, let us know. Uh, we have a few people in the chat right now. Emily looks like she's dialed in. Uh, great to see everyone. Christine, let's go. Let's get in this full body workout as well. Um, looks like we are good to go, sir. So let's start off with some dynamic stretches just because we, we do need to get our bodies prepared to work. We just, we don't want to start off cold no. and, and we really want to prime our muscles. So uh, let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. So we're going to take that right leg. We're going to extend it back towards our glutes, push those hips forward. You're gonna feel that stretch in your quad, in your hips, and then take that opposite arm and extend it up overhead. We can sit in this movement for about one or two seconds or a little longer if you need, but feel free and kind of cruise through these with intention, with purpose, as we push our hips forward. And you're gonna feel a little bit of mobility work here within your shoulder, your mid to upper back, nice overhead reach. Nice deep breath in, exhale, finding our balance as well can help with stabilization by engaging our core. So about 30 seconds for each of these. You can set in as long or as short as you need. Let's go ahead and switch things up here to a nice wide stance here. So we're thinking lateral lunges here. We're gonna really focus on the inside of our thigh here. So we're just gonna shift our weight over to the left and then to the right. Try to keep our toes pointed forward here. So nothing too aggressive. Just kind of shifting our weight over, keeping our chest up, just into that lateral lunge here getting some blood flow into our lower body and opening up our hips. If we've been seated for a long period of time over the weekend, maybe it was a Netflix <laughs> marathon. Right. Uh, binge watching. Binge watching marathon. Things. You know, we, we need to open up those hips. Team. Open right. up those hips. We do have a good amount of lower body and core activation for today. So we're just looking at getting some blood flow in here. A little quick little transition here to left to right. All right, team, let's go into that top of our workout space here, and we're gonna extend our right leg back into a reverse lunge. Drop that rear knee down, right arm comes up, and reaches over, and you can feel that stretch in your lat, as that will be the area of target for that renegade row. So again, opening up those hips with that reverse lunge, reaching over to our left now, and you're back to standing position. So. Again, each of these movements can be completed as slowly or as quickly as you would like. Good. Standing back up, rotating down. Again, if you need to sit in this movement for a little bit longer, 
Let's go ahead and do that, team. All right, last three, last two, last one. Since we do have some side plank activation, let's come back to the back of our workout space here. We're gonna go on to an inchworm, touching our toes. So feeling that stretch in your hamstrings here with a slight bend in our knees, touching our toes, slowly walking out into a high plank position. Hold this for one or two seconds, then retract back, touching our toes, and then extending right back up, bringing that spine up nice and straight. Retracting back down, touching our toes here, back into that high plank position with a nice strong pause. Retracting back, that's two out of four here. Let's go with two more here. Again, really absorbing that stretch in our hamstrings, keeping those hips up out of that high plank. Retracting back, and we're right back here. We need to bend our knees a little bit more to get into that floor position, into that high plank. Let's do it. Good. Last one here to stand us up. All right, team. As we shake things off here, we do have that overhead press, so let's just focus on a little bit of mobility work with our upper body here. So we'll go into these YTW. So we're just gonna take our strong stance like always. Our hands are gonna come to the center here. This is gonna be home base here. From here, we're gonna sit out, extend out into a big Y formation. Squeeze at the top, back to center, big T. Bringing those shoulder blades back and a big W. Feeling that stretch in the back as well as your shoulders. Back to center here, big Y. Good, nice deep breath in. Exhale as you go into your T. Good, and a big W here. Last one here, a little bit quicker. Big Y, squeeze, big T, the back, and our big W here with a smile because we're about to. Oh, yeah. Lost smile. Up. All right, team. <laughs> as we get started, uh, find that water here. We're going to go ahead and get dialed in with our timer. And any questions, again, any questions, any comments, any modifications, let us know in the comments below. You have myself, uh, Roy Montes, and Captain Bush behind me as well. Uh, go ahead and shout us out. Let us know <clears throat> how we're doing through each and every movement and round uh, when we get the time. All right, 40 on the clock here. Let's go ahead and count down from 10 here, Greg. <clears throat> out in, up in five, four, three, two, one. As we find our way here, front rack position here, we have that dumbbell front rack. So take this movement nice and controlled, nice and slow. For that first round, we are gonna learn the movement here. <clears throat> Go ahead and sit those hips back. <clears throat> keep that chest up. Remember to keep those dumbbells racked right over our elbows. So that's gonna help out with some bicep activation and a nice strong hold. 13 seconds here. Good. Nice control of our weight, nice control of our tempo. Again, you can go a little faster or a little slower. It's Kevin Bush and I, last three, two, one, and time. Um, I said Kevin Bush up because I got the 15s. <laughs> uh, you want to stick with those uh, 20s or you, for uh, Renegade Rows here? Dumbbell okay. Renegade Row. Yeah, we can do that. We'll try. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, try. we'll switch every round here. Or you, or you, you want to switch? Yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll switch uh, <laughs> next round. Okay. All right, team, up in that high plank position here. Remember our feet are shoulder width apart. Okay. From here, those dumbbells are just about underneath our chest level. That's gonna give you the most support as you come up into that renegade row and right back down. Remember to try to pull more towards your hip rather than towards your chest in that row. Getting some nice deep lower lat activation here. Good, 15 seconds and we're out. As a reminder, if we need a modification, let's come down to our knees here, and we're gonna perform that same type of renegade row, that same row here. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Nice. All right, standing up nice and tall here as we catch our breath. About to hit or isolate our triceps, rather. <laughs> Biceps and shoulders here. So a nice strong position here. Remember feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. From here, palms are facing you. We come up into that hammer curl, front rack position, overhead press. And then we're into that tricep extension, hinging at those elbows, back up overhead, controlling that weight back down to your standing position. So this can be, again, as quickly or as slowly as you need. Good, there we go. Keep working through. Remember our foot placement. Nice, strong foundation. 
Nice proud chest here. Good, last five. Out in three, two, and one. Good job. Nice one, nice one, nice one. As we drop the weights here, we're gonna find a side plank position. So find your space on the floor here. We're gonna face to the right for the first round. <clears throat> here we go, team. Making sure that our elbow is stacked underneath our shoulder. So your elbow is stacked underneath your shoulder. We're gonna raise our hips, our feet are together. From here, we're in that relatively straight line. So option number one is holding this side plank position right here. Option two, you can add in a hip dip. So dropping those hips down towards the floor. You can really feel the engagement of that side oblique, right? That bottom oblique, that bottom of your abdominal section here. Try to keep that nice straight line here, relatively straight at that top position. Last eight seconds here. Up in five, or out of five. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. There we go, round one. Round one, done. Round one in the books. Round one is complete. Now we know the movements. Yeah, absolutely. You can really uh, think about scaling up or kind of scaling back on any specific type of movement that we have hit for today. Again, 60 seconds of rest here. This is the time to really engage in how we feel for today's workout. Yeah. What are our body, what our body's feeling like? And, and how we just, how we are doing for today, right? We can really feel like we can scale up in weight. Let's go ahead and do that. If we can scale up in our tempo, let's go ahead and do that as well. All right, team. How are we doing out there, B-Fit Nation? Let's get after it. One quarter done. One quarter done, that's right. That's right, speaking in uh, sports lingo. Sport lingo, there we go. 10 seconds here, we'll find our dumbbells. Uh, front rack squats here coming up. Absolutely. All right, here too. We're up in two. We're up in one with that nice solid foot placement. Front rack position here. Find our low squat. Drive up through our heels, keeping our chest up. Pushing those hips back. Good. Nice control here, team. Again, with weights, with any type of strength. Kind of want to do the checklist from the ground up, right? How is our foot placement? How are our knees doing? Tracking over our toes. How are our hips pushing back into our low squat position as we move our way up from our hips? How is our core? Is it nice and tight on the way down? Chest stays up. Then we look at our wrist and our elbows into that front rack position and our head is keeping up as well. All right, look at that. When you talk your way through, it's not too bad. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> setting ourselves up here into our renegade row. So find our space here. Again, dumbbells will be right under our chest level for the most support as we go up into our renegade row. Here we go, 40 on the clock here, pulling towards our hip, towards our pocket, if you will, trying to keep that nice stabilization. Take your time with these. Try to get our hips to stay square to the floor, so facing the floor at all times. Remember that foot placement as well. At least shoulder width apart. Good job, team. Full body here, core's contracted, legs are contracted, our lats are feeling the burn, our shoulders. Last two, last one, and time. Good job. Good work. Can't push. Really pushing with the weight here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, shake this one off here. We're going to stand up nice and tall. Again, bicep curls, shoulder press, tricep extension. Coming up in two, one. Here we go, team. Into our curl. Good. Again, controlling our resistance here, controlling our weight. To our overhead press. Good. Only hinging at the elbows with our tricep extension. Feeling that isolation on the back of our arm. Nice soft bend at our knees. Always keep that soft bend. Try not to lock out our legs here. You never want to give the chance of hyper extending. Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good stuff. Nice. Good stuff. Again, resistance today. So we're really focusing on dialing in our form, 
targeting specific muscle groups. We're gonna face this way this time. Yes, sir. All right, team, we're up in three. This time we're on the opposite side here. Two, one. All right, we are facing the left here. Our arm is extended. Again, you have the option here for that nice, strong side plank hold right here, or we can add in a dip for a little bit more of a progressive challenge here. Good job. Let me show you a mod here. If we need to regress just a little bit, let's drop one knee onto the floor and hold our side plank position. Just like that. Last 10 seconds. There it is. Last five. Out in three, two, one. Good job. Nice. Absolutely. Half time. Uh, half, <laughs> half time in uh, sports lingo here. Good job, team. Again, 60 seconds here. Take the time to recover. Take the time to replenish. Um, if you're new, if you're just joining us, welcome. Beef and Ambassador Room with us here and Captain Bush joining you on today's resistance based workout. We're taking things focused, we're taking things slow and controlled. Just because it's slow doesn't mean oh, no. that we are not elevating the heart rate. We are really uh, you know, asking our bodies, you know, how much effort can we put into lifting some heavy objects in a, with, with a purpose here? Yeah. So, you, elevate, you know, we're elevating our heart rate just in that sense alone. So, um, leave us some in the comments. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Yeah. Let us know where you're engaging from. Uh, Ken Bush. All right. You're up deck. I'm scaled up. Front racks. I'm scaled up. All right. I'm going to go set, set. <laughs> Same here. All right, here we go, team. Front rack position, feet shoulder width apart, round three. Dropping down, driving up back to standing position. Good. Again, with the benefit of not resting our dumbbells on our shoulders, we get a little bit more bicep isolation with an isometric hold here. Asking our biceps to hold up our weight as it helps keep our chest nice and proud here. That chest should not face the floor here. 10 seconds here. Our wrists are stacked underneath our elbows. Good. Drive up. Last three, two, one. Last one for good measure. Nice. <laughs> all right. Ken Bush said, I'm scaling up <laughs> all movements yeah, today. Yeah, I'm, I'm scaling up movements. Can we work do. today? Let's see how we do. Bro, I can't work. Seven <laughs> seconds here, team. Dumbbell Renegade Rose. Remember the option and the mod here. We can go from our knees into that renegade row, or we can go into our high plank position. So that mod will be on the knees, just like we're doing here. Nice flat back, keep those hips up. Engage, nice strong pull towards our pocket, or coming to work here. Keeping our hips square to the floor. Nice deep breath in, exhale, as you drive that dumbbell up towards your pocket. Good. 12 and out, team. Good job. Stay with us here. Keeping that core nice and tight. Mm. Yes, sir. Two, one, and time. Good job. Good work. Good work. Standing up nice and tall here. We're rolling these away. Oh, wait, no, we're not. <laughs> Just coming back to you. Ken Bush. <laughs> Come back to me here. Five seconds here, team. Nice strong stance here. We're gonna keep that soft bend at our knees. Right. Here we go. Bicep curl, overhead press, tricep extension. I will say, I think this combination of movement right here, if you're pressed for time, these one, two, and three movements, bicep curl, tricep, overhead press, you can fit it into any workout, really, making the most out of your time here with this movement. 10 seconds here, team. Good. Out in five. Last three, two, one. Good job, good work, team. Good work. Way to put in the work here, round three. Finishing off with our side plank here. We're gonna face, I guess every time it soars out right, technically. <laughs> Hip, right, uh, right hip on the ground? Yeah. Yep. Right, yes. You're correct. There we go. Here we go. Side plank here. Remember our two options. You can have the dip. You can have the nice strong hold. 
Good job. Again, relatively straight line from our head down to our neck in that high hold here. Good. Good, 18 and out here, team. Last 15 to scale it up. If you were looking for an additional challenge, go ahead and raise that leg. <laughs> oh, man. Last five, three, two, one. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Good work, team. Good work. 60 seconds here to find our hydration, find our breath. Good work. Good work. Last quarter. Last quarter. Let's do it. Coming off that last quarter. We call it. We call it a timeout, real quick. Call time. <laughs> Leave a comment here. Mark, thanks so much for joining us right now. Lorena from Columbus, Ohio. Great to see you in here. Nice. Eddie, good workout. All right, from Birmingham. Good to see you in here, Eddie. I hope you're moving with us as well. Again, it doesn't have to be heavy weight. It doesn't have to be any weight. Make those nice strong fists, moving with the purpose, moving your body. Just a little bit of effort goes a long way here to really help progress with our strength, with our nice solid foundation on each of these movements here. Eight seconds here, we're finding that dumbbell right. uh, squat rack here. Oh, you left me with these. Oh, <laughs> big, big dogs today, huh? <laughs> All right, team, front rack position here. Let's go back into our low squat here. Driving up into that front rack position. Good. Nice and controlled. Nice, great form here. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhaling. Back to standing position. Good. Almost there. There we are, team. Out in 10. Push those hips back. Knees are tracking over our toes. Good. Dig deep on this last one, last round. Two, one, and nice. time. Here's the thing, Cat Bush, I'm not gonna switch up. <laughs> I'm gonna switch up. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds here, Renegade Rose. Nice. All right, team, remember, the mod's here off of our knees or scaling up, it's that high plank. Last round, second movement here. Keep going, BFit Nation. Twenty-five and out here, team. Again, Kevin Bush and I are working through a resistance-based workout for today. If you're looking for additional workouts, stay with us and head on over to our Facebook playlist here. Ten seconds and we're out, team. Last round. Give it all you got here. Finish it out. Last three, two, one, last pull. Good job. Nice. Sticking with those dumbbells here. Now take that, take those few seconds yeah. to gather ourselves. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> deep breath. There it is. It's oxygen in your system. Yes, sir. Recover here. Nice solid foundation. We're gonna go into overhead press here. So 40 on the clock. You good? Tricep extension. Good. Good job. Kevin Bush. Yes, sir. Let me show you a great modification here. If you come down to your knees here. Okay. What's great about any movement off of your knees it takes the momentum Legs. out of your lower body. Right. So since we are just really focusing on isolating <coughs> our upper body really forces you to minimize the sway in your lower body. Kind of makes you aware. Two, one, and time. Last rep here to finish this up. <laughs> Good job. Nice. Uh, yeah, great thing about taking that lower body out of the equation is you really focus on how minimal of a sway right. uh, I we really need it. exactly. Here we are, team. Last and final one here. Right. Up into that side plank position. 40 on the clock here. We're working through a team. I think we owe you four seconds. <laughs> That's all right. We'll, we'll pay it back. Absolutely. Have that weekly deposit here. Yes, sir. Rent is due, sir. 20 seconds yeah. here. Mm. Good. Last 15 here, team. Out in 10. Remember that scale up? 
Here you are. Last five, three, two, one, and we need four more. an extra four. Three, two, one. There we are, team. Nice. Uh, we start together, we finish together. <laughs> we owe you the time. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Cam Bush, as we come up top, Good man. Stuff. Good stuff here today. Yeah. Again, Cam Bush and myself, Roy Montes here, pushing you through today's resistance based workouts as we collect ourselves as well. Yep. Hydrate, towel off, uh, let's bring ourselves down. If you need any type of additional cool off, uh, go ahead and take this opportunity here as we go through our closing remarks to, to stretch out, to bring your bodies back down towards to a cooling off scenario here. So that way you don't stay in that high elevated heart rate, right? Bring yourself back down with that hydration, with that towel off and stretching out, making it imperative. And it's really key to, to stretch off and and really just take that time to recover here. See, with our Exchange BFit program here, if you are looking for any additional support, we have you covered here with our BFit Nation, with our BFit program. See, there's a lot of different components moving within our BFit program. One, for example, is our Exchange main stores here, team. If you walk into our main stores and you go into our BFit department, look for that active gear, that wellness gear, look for those uh, foot, look for that footwear, for that digital tracker that you may need to help track your steps, to help track your calories, your burned, uh, things of that nature it can really help go a long way as far as dialing in your active lifestyle and a healthier you team. Search us online at shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit can really help move you along in that right direction. We have uh, everything that you may need to help progress you in an active lifestyle team. If you go from our main store outside to our mall area our wellness services uh, we have cryotherapy we have chiropractic care we have the joint with which, which is what i'm saying durable medical equipment optical optometry care dental centers that can really help uh, focus from the inside out if you will talking about that holistic approach that be fit 360 approach to our programs that we have to offer for you to really help get you in that right active mindset as far as uh, join in that holistic approach of recovery team. If you go, go outside from our wellness services and look towards nutrition with our exchange restaurants, we have more than 1600 restaurants that offer better for you options. So surf through those menus, look for those specific nutrition, better for you options to really help dial in uh, that 80, 20, right? Working as hard as you uh, can, uh, but also you want to fuel yourself and make those better selections with nutrition team that can help take you uh, just a little bit higher into whatever goal you may have to help you dial in team. If you walk outside from our exchange installation and our exchange main store, and if you go out to our express stores, visit our convenience stores, our express stores, and if you search through those aisles, look for those healthier choice, healthier lifestyle tags. There's more than 400 items within our express stores that offer a healthier choice tag. It can be anything from uh, low sodium to a higher protein to a lower carb, uh, things of that nature, different attributes that really help uh, take the guesswork out of smart snacking options, right team? So looking from that for that replenishment from breakfast to lunch, lunch to dinner, or helping you refuel right after a hard workout like today, uh, healthier choice with our BFIT program, healthier choices items can really help dial you in as well. Um, any additional information that you may be searching for, head over to shopmyexchange forward slash BFIT. This is our BFIT hub and our BFIT 360 program as a whole that you can surf through for additional workouts from fitness to nutrition to wellness to our gear. Uh, we offer uh, additional workouts as well, whether you're at home or on the go, uh, different uh, things as far as the keys to BFIT. Uh, chasing 26.2 if you're looking for any additional running program or, or what's it like to finish a marathon or to train for a marathon hit the 26.2 it's an older article but uh, a lot of great information in there as well as far as our wellness services that we mentioned on top and if you have any um questions on what you have on your installation shopmyexchange.com forward slash wellness or at the hub with that qr code uh, under the wellness tab can really help uh, type in your type in your installation and it'll bring up whatever wellness services that you may have close to you team All right again great workout today with our resistance base 
a workout, really focusing on the holistic approach and the full body. Uh, Cam Bush, how did you feel today? How? Oh, I'm, I'm feeling feeling good. <laughs> Muscles feeling nice and worked out. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely feeling it. Good, good, good. <laughs> and I, I think a good takeaway here is there's a lot of benefits into these four movements that can really help uh, whether you're testing for your ACFT right. or whether you're just training for your everyday lifestyle and Absolutely. trying to stay active. Uh, some of these movements here can really help benefit you and progress you in any type of strength building or, or if you're lacking in some sort of movement. Right. Uh, you know, these solid foundations can really help Absolutely. benefit you in, in some of those uh, events. Absolutely. Yeah, just, just, like I said, just not the ACFT or mm -hmm. Air Force there, the physical fitness test, but just for life in general. Right. Even after, after the military, you're, you know, civilian supporting the, the, the government. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting into these workouts will, will help sustain you for your life. So it's always important. Right. Absolutely. And so let me ask you this: uh, Is there any movement that may have been new to you that, or maybe you walked away with saying, "Man, like that was a really, really cool movement"? Right. The, the dumbbell bicep curl <laughs> with the tricep extension. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that was that was a, a torture. That was a torture. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but again, if you're minimized on time, if you're trying, to, you know, this the, the idea behind our our BFit program, not only just showing you a glimpse of of, of some different movements, really kind of maybe replenish any type of movements that you may need for, for working out, right. or uh, maybe it's a little bit of motivation or encouragement or inspiration, uh, you know, on taking away any of these movements. Follow us along, Cam Bush and myself, and, and we can really help you throughout each round and each rep. So, Absolutely. Uh, any last words, Cam Bush? No, hey, stick up. Uh, just this one thing. Yeah. Hey, I mean, uh, the recovery of your workout is just as important as, as doing the actual workout. So, I'll just encourage everyone to make sure you hydrate, stay, stay, uh, stick, stay nourished with some, some good good meals and mm -hmm. uh, to sustain you for the next round. We'll be back at it next week. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and so again, uh, Beef It Live 98, 90, 98th episode creeping up onto 100. So we better see all of you back here for episode 100. We have a great uh, workout lined up for you uh, right then and there. So uh, Beef It Ambassador Montes here, Cam Bush. We are signing off here, team. Have a great have rest of your week. One. Stay strong. Beef It.